welcome. I know it's been a little bit. Um, I kind of got overwhelmed with holidays coming up and being pregnant and trying to shop while pandemic's going on and just so I took a few weeks to just kind of focus on myself and my family and I didn't also I also didn't want to film with all of my family and you know, all that so it just it got too chaotic but um, while I am filming this I am 21 weeks pregnant and I thought I would share my experience with anatomy scan and kind of just give a little update of how I'm feeling and everything that's been going on. Um, so my anatomy scan was at 19 weeks, which I thought it was supposed to be 20, but it was at 19 and um, it went well. Um, it was interesting though. I had no idea what to expect first pregnancy that's made it this far and I had no idea what to expect. So when I went in, it was interesting because it's in radiology, it's not with your OBGYN. And they started the scan and I had to go with a full bladder and everything. And they started the scan and they didn't show me the screen, like she had the screen facing away from me and she was silent. Didn't say anything for a good like one or two minutes. And I had had a, had, had a previous miscarriage and so I was freaking out because I was thinking, is something wrong? And all she was doing was going click, 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 and that's all I could hear. And she wasn't saying anything. So I was about to have a heart attack. And then she said, oh, okay, so, um, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? And like started talking to me and I was like, okay, she still hasn't said like, is everything okay? And like, what's going on? And so I explained to her and we found out it's a boy and, um, and I explained to her in kind of like a just telling a story type of way that I had had a previous miscarriage and so that this one's been pretty stressful. And that's when she started, you know, getting a little more talkative and being like, oh, well, everything so far is looking good, but I'm not really allowed to tell you anything because your doctor has to clear all that and give you the info. So... But I really wish they showed you the screen and you could actually watch the anatomy scan. I was so disappointed. Um, <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of pictures though. And she did film for like a minute um, of the anatomy scan, but she was not allowed to talk or explain anything. So it was just a video of the ultrasound, which was still nice of her because I don't think she had to do that. I think she just did because she feels bad that my husband's not allowed to come with me and so it's kind of sucky times right now. Um, but it was, everything was fine and everything's measuring right on track. Um, so he's no longer bigger than usual. Um, he's measuring right on time with everything. Um, the other weird thing about our hospital and everything is I, I don't have another appointment until 27 weeks. So that means she saw me at 14 weeks. So the start of my second trimester, I had the anatomy scan where I didn't even see my OBGYN. And then I see her at the end of the second trimester. And that's all I see her. So. I don't see her until February, and I'm filming this in the very, very beginning of January. So that's freaking me out a little bit. Um, but I don't know, I guess that's just how they do it. And to go over the anatomy scan results, they just literally send you the results in an email, and then you have to go and Google, what does this academic term mean to find out what that result means? It's, uh, it's frustrating. I'm getting kind of irritated with how this insurance and doctors and this business is ran because it's not a hospital. It's, I'm definitely finding it's more of a business than an actual 
insurance hospital type thing and it's driving me insane but there's nothing I can do about it because of where I live there's only like two insurances and the big one is the one I'm in so I'm sure you can figure out which one I'm in but it's driving me crazy would not recommend <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna show you all of these pictures because there's a lot but um, I do want to say I'm still feeling pretty good I'm pretty anxious I've noticed um, especially now knowing that I don't see her until 27 weeks mm, but my best friend's mom gave me a Doppler for Christmas and so my husband got to hear his heart beat the other day it took a little bit of a struggle but we did find it and I wish I'd filmed it but we didn't um, maybe next time because we plan on doing like every other week where we find his heartbeat um, oh another update at um, 19 no 20 weeks I started filling little flutters um, which was incredible I was in absolute shock when I felt him move um, and it was very obvious that it was not gas it was none of that it was definitely him it was amazing feeling and then I, my husband wasn't there with me um, but then I came home at 21 weeks um, because I was home visiting family for the holidays and um, I started feeling him move again and I put my hand and I could feel it on the outside and so I was like grabbed my husband's hand and so he's gotten to feel him even on the outside moving um, it's usually very light for my husband but the other morning he was just jabbing and jabbing me in the side so I took my husband's hand and I put it where it was and he's like oh my gosh he's like kicking me like crazy and I was like uh-huh so he got to really feel him that time so it was pretty fun um, and maybe I'll insert some Christmas pictures that we took which was a lot of fun uh, I've been saying that a lot oh, sorry guys <laughs> um, but let me kind of show you some of the pictures actually you know what they're such a long roll instead I'm gonna take pictures of them and kind of put them up that would be way easier than doing this <laughs> um, but yeah I'll put up the pictures um, yeah <laughs> that'd be way easier than trying to hold up this giant roll um, but let me think let me think let me think um, I think that's the only updates that I have um, feeling good. I uh, finally got my second trimester energy and I've been go, go, go. I hate sitting still. Um, so that's not usual for me. So that's been nice because I've been getting a lot done. Um, obviously not with YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> but, um, oh, and I made a friend at the school. She's 15 weeks pregnant. Um, no one at the school knows except for me um, and we've been taking walks at uh, lunch because we're both just on zoom and we've both been finding our hips are and our lower back are really sore by the end of the day so we've been taking walks around the field at our lunch time so that's been a lot of fun um, but yeah let me show you a little quick uh, bump date um, update and yeah I think that's it for 19, 20, and 21 weeks. Um, yeah, so bumped, bump, and then um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.